Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. And today, we're diving deep into the world of ethical hacking. We're talking about the software that powers the hackers, the tools of the trade, the operating systems that make all the magic happen. Specifically, we're putting Kali Linux and Parrot OS head to head. Now, if you're serious about ethical hacking, penetration testing, or just want to beef up your cybersecurity game, choosing the right OS is crucial. It's like picking the right phone. You don't want something that's going to slow you down or lack the features you need. You want something powerful, efficient, and reliable. So, in this corner, we've got Kali Linux, the reigning champ, the heavyweight. And in the other corner, the contender, the up-and-comer, Parrot OS. We're going to break down the history, the features, the performance, and everything in between to help you decide which one is right for you. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about Kali Linux. This bad boy has been around for a minute, developed by the legends over at Offensive Security. They know their stuff when it comes to cybersecurity, and Kali is their pride and joy. Now, Kali is built on Debian, which is known for its stability and its massive repository of software. But what makes Kali special is its laser focus on penetration testing. We're talking hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of pre-installed tools for everything from reconnaissance to exploitation to reporting. Think of it like this. Kali comes with a fully loaded toolbox. You've got your Nmap for port scanning, your Metasploit for exploiting vulnerabilities, your Wireshark for network analysis, and a whole lot more. It's all there, ready to go right out of the box. And because Kali is so popular, it's got a massive community behind it. That means tons of tutorials, forums, and support if you ever get stuck. Plus, it's constantly being updated with the latest tools and security patches. But let's be real, all that power comes at a price. Kali can be a bit of a resource hog. It needs a decent amount of RAM and processing power to run smoothly, especially if you're running multiple tools at once. So if you're rocking an older machine, Kali might not be the best choice. But if you've got the hardware to back it up, Kali is a force to be reckoned with. Now, let's move on to Parrot OS. Developed by Frozenbox, Parrot OS is like the sleek and nimble younger brother of Kali Linux. It's built on Debian 2, so you know it's got a solid foundation. But Parrot OS takes a slightly different approach. It's all about balance. It aims to provide a secure and private environment for ethical hacking and penetration testing, but it also emphasizes usability and customization. So, while Kali comes loaded with every tool under the sun, Parrot OS takes a more curated approach. It includes a core set of essential tools, but it also gives you the flexibility to install additional tools as you need them. Think of it like this. Parrot OS gives you a toolbox, but it also lets you pick and choose the tools you want in it. This makes it a bit more lightweight and less resource intensive than Kali. Plus, Parrot OS has a few tricks up its sleeve. It comes with a bunch of anonymity and privacy tools built in, like Tor and VPNs. So if you're really serious about staying under the radar, Parrot OS has got your back. And don't get me wrong, Parrot OS still has a decent selection of penetration testing tools. It's got Metasploit, Burp Suite, and a bunch of other goodies. It might not have the sheer volume of tools that Kali has, but it's got all the essentials covered. Chapter 3. Feature Face-Off, Tools of the Trade Alright, let's get down to brass tacks. When it comes to features and tools, both Kali and Parrot OS bring their A-game. It's like comparing a Swiss Army knife to a high-end chef's knife. Both are incredibly useful, but they excel in different areas. Kali, as we've established, is all about that comprehensive toolkit. It's got tools for every stage of the penetration testing lifecycle, from reconnaissance and vulnerability scanning to exploitation and reporting. You name it, Kali probably has a dedicated tool for it. This makes it an absolute beast for professionals who need a wide range of tools at their fingertips. It's also great for beginners who want to experiment with different tools and techniques without having to install everything manually. 
Parrot OS, on the other hand, takes a more streamlined approach. It focuses on providing a core set of essential tools that are well-maintained and regularly updated. It includes tools for network analysis, web application testing, wireless testing, and more. But what sets Parrot OS apart is its emphasis on customization. It lets you tailor your hacking environment to your specific needs. You can easily install additional tools, create custom scripts, and even modify the source code if you're feeling adventurous. So, if you prefer a more hands-on approach and want complete control over your hacking environment, Parrot OS might be the better choice. It's also a good option if you're working with limited resources, as it's generally lighter on system resources than Kali. Chapter 4, Performance Showdown, Speed versus Versatility. Okay, now let's talk performance. This is where things get really interesting. Because when it comes to resource usage, Kali and Parrot OS have very different personalities. Kali, with its massive arsenal of tools and features, can be a bit of a resource hog. It's like that friend who always orders the biggest thing on the menu. It needs its fuel to function. You're going to want a decent amount of RAM, at least 4 gigabytes, and a multi-core processor to keep things running smoothly. Otherwise, you might experience some lag, especially if you're running multiple tools simultaneously. Parrot OS, on the other hand, is like the friend who can survive on a single black coffee. It's designed to be lightweight and efficient, so it can run smoothly even on older hardware. It's optimized for performance and uses a minimal desktop environment, which means it consumes fewer resources than Kali. So if you're working with a less powerful machine, Parrot OS is definitely the way to go. But let's be clear. Just because Parrot OS is lighter on resources doesn't mean it's any less powerful. It's still more than capable of handling demanding tasks. It's just a bit more efficient with its resource allocation. Ultimately, the best choice for you will depend on your specific needs and your hardware. If you've got a beefy machine and you need the absolute most comprehensive toolkit available, Kali is the way to go. But if you're working with limited resources, or you prefer a more streamlined and efficient experience, Parrot OS is an excellent choice. Chapter 5. The Verdict. Which OS reigns supreme? So there you have it. We've explored the depths of Kali Linux and Parrot OS, two of the most popular operating systems in the ethical hacking world. But the question remains, which one comes out on top? Well, the truth is, there's no easy answer. It's like asking whether iOS or Android is better. It depends on your individual needs and preferences. Kali Linux is the undisputed king of comprehensiveness. It's got a tool for everything, a massive community, and it's constantly being updated. If you're serious about penetration testing and you need the most powerful tools available, Kali is the way to go. But that power comes at a price. Kali can be demanding on your hardware and it can be a bit overwhelming for beginners. If you're just starting out, you might be better off with a more streamlined OS. That's where Parrot OS comes in. It's lighter, faster, and more customizable than Kali. It might not have as many tools out of the box, but it gives you the flexibility to build the perfect hacking environment for your needs. Plus, Parrot OS has a strong focus on privacy and anonymity, which is essential for ethical hackers who want to stay under the radar. Ultimately, the best way to decide which OS is right for you is to try them both out. You can download them for free and install them on a virtual machine. Experiment with the different tools, explore the interfaces, and see which one feels more comfortable to you. So, that was our deep dive into the world of Kali Linux and Parrot OS. We covered a lot of ground today, from the history and background of each OS to their features, performance, and overall usability. At the end of the day, the best OS for you depends on your individual needs and preferences. Do you need the absolute most comprehensive toolkit available? Go with Kali. Do you prefer a more streamlined and customizable experience? Parrot OS is your friend. Now, I want to hear from you. Which OS do you prefer and why? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech comparisons and reviews. Until next time, keep it locked right here. Peace.